it's actually always a finding that comes up, even the Global Corruption Barometer, the Afro Barometer Surveys, and a number of surveys, it always comes up. But then a survey that we conducted by the Ghana Integrity Initiative some time back actually also said that police are perceived to be corrupt. When it comes to actual payment of bribes, it was not the police, but then other institutions were perceived to be collecting more bribes than... But there's an interesting part of a survey that was conducted by GRI, GACC and Saint Ghana, funded by USAID, that said that about 86% of over 17,986 people said that we are willing and ready to contribute to the fight against corruption. And that is very, very encouraging. Ghanaians have become aware of the negative impact of corruption and 86% of almost 18,000 people surveyed said that we are ready to contribute to the fight against corruption. I believe if you're able to identify them, we have avenues, we have people, people, I encourage everybody. We don't need to even identify those 86%, but everybody should be encouraged to play a role. For a citizen, the, your role is just simple. If you become a victim of corruption, just don't say that, if I go and report, nothing will happen. No. If you want to be a great leader, you have to be proactive. So you take a step forward, go to the appropriate institution and go and report. Maybe in your case, sanctioning punishment will happen. And it does happen. I have testimonies in our organization. We run what we call the Advocacy and Legal Advice Center, ALAC. We have toll free lines. People call. And then we work with the institutions of state. And they get corrupt people punished and sanctioned. We are getting some results. Especially the kind of result I like is when a poor person becomes a victim of corruption. And then the, the perpetrators of the crime are punished. It's so satisfying. It is long overdue. And we are fair that some steps are being taken in that direction. But even whilst we wait for a curriculum on anti-corruption in schools, so society organizations and youth, the young people, can take the initiative up. Why you put yourselves together, go to some schools and say, we want to help train young people in anti-corruption during their uh, whatever. Some, they can have some free days for you to start some education of that sort. I think the young people learn a lot. I was amazed when my uh, young person, who's actually my child, was telling me all about the Shraj and what they do because they are learning some things in school. So we should actually intensify our work in that direction.